After starting Unimus, it will be reachable over its web interface. I am running it locally, so I will connect to localhost on port 8085. If you deploy it into Tomcat or a different application server, you will need to access Unimus with a proper URL, which depends on how it's deployed on your application server. When connecting to Unimus for the first time, you will be automatically redirected to the configuration wizard. There are guidelines on the left for each step of the wizard, which should explain what needs to be configured for every step. Here I will create a user, which I will use from now on to log into Unimus. If your password is not passing validation, you can mouse over the exclamation mark to see why. Next we need to configure a database. You can use a file-based database, which is pre-configured, or switch to another database engine. In my case, a local file-based database is enough. We will need to enter a database encryption key. Unimus will use this key to encrypt sensitive data in the database using AES-128, so no sensitive data can be seen in the database in clear text. In my case, I will just pick something simple. Next we need to add credentials, which will be used to access the managed devices. You can add multiple credentials here, and Unimus will automatically discover which credentials are valid for which of your devices, and use them to access those devices. In this example, I will use free credentials, which will cover all of the devices in this demo. On this page, we can configure which ports each of the device connectors use. I will just use the default values here. Next, we need to configure the backup schedules. Each device is backed up according to a schedule. A default schedule for 3 m every night is already created, so I will just use that one on all of my devices. As a final step, I need to enter my license key. Since I already have all of my credentials added in, I can now start adding devices. When adding a device for the first time, there is help explaining what each of the fields does. I will just type in an IP address and click Finish. The device will be added and Unimus will discover which credentials should be used for it and what vendor and type the device is. I will add a few more devices before we continue. After I added all of my devices, they will be backed up according to their schedules. All of my devices use the default schedule, so their backups will run at 3 a.m. every day. You can also force a backup on a device to run now. In the dashboard, we should also see successful job messages or failed messages if any of our operations failed. All of the backups are available to download on the backup screen. Here I can also generate diffs or change sets between any of my backups. In this example, we see that only the time of the backup has changed and nothing else. If we want to change any of the settings configured in the wizard, we can change them in the settings screen. For updates on the Unimus beta, or to get support, please visit us on forums.unimus.net.